What's up guys, c 5 Minute Story here. How is everybody doing today? Now I'm gonna lead this video, okay? The gameplay, I, okay, I made the last video, right? But the problem with the last video was, is that I recorded, I tried, listen, I tried something a little bit different. I recorded with AMD's uh, instant replay. And let me tell you, I don't know if my settings are off. You know, if anybody has any tips for AMD instant replay, put them in the comments. But that footage, was not was not very good looking i finished the video i rendered it every everything out i i kept that video private for a while mostly because i didn't really want to put it up because i didn't like how the footage looked so hopefully once the footage is rendered out on this video got some division 2 gameplay once the footage is rendered out in this video, it looks good. I, you know, I'm not hesitant to put it up, but it's like, I, it was either, I mean, the content was fine. I mean, it was, I could admit it wasn't my best video I've ever made, but the gameplay, the way that it looked, it, it just didn't look very good. So, uh, hopefully this video is not the same, but anyway, let's get into exactly what we're looking at today. You already know. It's going to be stupid. It's going to be over the top. You might have seen it. You might not have. But apparently, Australian air conditioning um, is very sexist. I, I wasn't aware of this. I don't know if you guys were aware of this. But the, the air conditioning in Australia, it's sexist. The, the AC doesn't like women. There it was. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. I know. Um, so many women in our office have the exact same problem. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if they got this, like, this brain-dead woman on the show specifically to make her look stupid. Or if, like, they're actually in agreement with this woman. Like, they have a lot, you know, there's a lot of news stations in the U.S. and the U.K., in Australia, they bring people on the show. Um, they say crazy things, and it's it's almost as if they know that it was retarded. But it's very good for the ratings, you know. Why I wouldn't be talking about Australia's Sky News right now if they didn't bring this clown on here to try to tell me that the air conditioning was sexist. And there's other stuff. There's like the lady who tried to say that uh, changing your baby's diaper, you need consent. The baby has to give consent. You know, well, that's a whole other video. I, I might, matter of fact, we're going to do a video on that. That's a great topic. But it's almost like these news channels. It's like, dude, you guys know these people are brain dead. This is like borderline bullying. Why are you, I, I feel bad for this woman. She's obviously brain dead. She's got half a brain. She's just here being retarded. And these people are just making her look stupid. You know, we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now, which I blame all on the AC. Um, and so it's just so actually quite nice to see this research. Um, it's just such a relief to know that there's actually proof that this is happening, that women, you know, do feel the cold more than men. Okay, so there is some truth to what she's saying, but at the end of the day, the the day she's still brain dead, okay? The reason women are, you know, just, they, they don't produce as much body heat as men do. It's due to them having a lower metabolic rate, okay? That, that, that's it, okay? That's, that's why. That's exactly why. So men's bodies have a higher metabolic rate. Basically, they're breaking down things and they're creating energy for themselves at a, at a higher rate, faster rate that creates body heat metabolism is working faster just running harder creates body heat that doesn't this has nothing to do you, yes you're colder but it has nothing to do with the air conditioner hating you because you're a woman okay i get that's not what they're saying exactly but i mean that that's what they're leading with i mean the ac is sexist like well what the hell and that the ac in offices is normally regulated more for a male's temperature than a woman's and it's an explanation for these constant battles you'll see in offices right across the country uh, between the sexes for control of their office thermostat. So what do you mean it's regulated more for a male's temperature? What, what is a male's temperature? I didn't realize that 
70 degrees Fahrenheit, that's a male's temperature. But 75 degrees Fahrenheit is a woman's temperature. Like, what do you mean male temperature, woman temperature? A comfortable temperature is just a comfortable temperature. It, it's it's simple as that. It, I mean, come on. I didn't realize that that anything in the 60s was for men and anything in the 70s was for women. I didn't realize we were assigning we were assigning uh temperatures genders like what 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 are you talking about what are you talking about do you, are you listening to what you're saying yeah exactly and i think you know one of the biggest problems is that often in offices it is men who control temperatures you know that's just something i've found anecdotally um and because oh i hate that word oh anecdotally yeah, so, um, I just, you know, um, I have found that, um, you know, anecdotally, you know, I don't have any real evidence to show you as of right now to prove the nonsense that's coming out of my mouth, but anecdotally, because just these faceless figures have told me that their office temperature was ran by a man. They hired a guy specifically to change the motherfucking temperature. But anecdotally, I don't have any evidence to back such a statement up on hand, of course. You know, maybe some statistics, maybe at this percentage of offices, um, the thermostat is ran by a man because it's anecdotal. It's okay. I'm allowed to present you anecdo anecdotal evidence and you're supposed to believe me. Majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures. You know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. And, you know, often, like, actually nothing's being done to help them. And, you know, it might sound like a bit of a silly, light-hearted issue, but... <laughs> you think? Silly? <laughs> you think it's silly? Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're smart enough to acknowledge that. <laughs> Good lord. Because we can't have men overheating in the offices, can we? No, I think we just need a bit more flexibility. You know, I think it is just essentially common sense. So if... I know this nigga is not talking about common sense right now. You know, an office is noticing that a number of women are complaining about the cold. They need to be more flexible. You know, they need to actually kind of lower it and not just say that all the men are fine. You know, now there is actually proof that this is, this is actually an issue. Yeah, anecdotal proof. Anecdotal proof. The only proof is what you're saying anecdotal proof anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i i think it's amazing just to preface this i seriously truly believe that it is amazing it is honestly amazing the the level of of uh privilege that we all have in certain places in the world you know there are women living in Australia that have nothing better to worry about in the world than the air conditioning. The air conditioning. I think I think that's amazing. You know, I'm sitting here and I have nothing better to worry about on this planet other than skill-based matchmaking and how I'm going to get my next video out. I think that's awesome. I think that's dope. That's cool. For me, of course. Anyway, I'm out of here. If you guys catch any more retard mode content, you know, definitely 110%. Get that to me. I don't care where you link it. Link it in the comments. Link it to me on Twitter at T5 Destroyer. Link it to me wherever.